I'm uh, uh, happy to tell you a little bit uh, today about uh, Fort Worth and the work that we've done uh, done to revitalize our distressed uh, commercial districts. Uh, a big challenge in any community, but I think the, the principles that I can uh, describe to you this afternoon are, are equally applicable in, uh, in a small town uh, with, a, with a struggling downtown uh, or in a mid or larger, uh, mid size or larger city uh, in which uh, the decline of commercial districts is uh, all too uh, commonplace. And uh, uh, there are examples around the country, uh, and I think this is one that I think uh, uh, you might want to uh, consider. And so our, uh, we turned our attention uh, to these uh, distressed, in some cases downright blighted, commercial districts that typically uh, took a linear form. Uh, we call them uh, commercial quarters. We actually uh, identified 31 of these commercial quarters within the central city, all a mile or more in length, uh, characterized by commercial or industrial zoning, uh, along a designated arterial street. That's how we define these 31 uh, commercial quarters. And virtually all of them were declining economically uh, and in physical appearance. Uh, what could we do to reverse that long-standing pattern? That was, that was our challenge. This is what these commercial corridors uh, typically look like. If you've been in uh, one of my classes, you've probably seen this image before. And I, I often uh, ask folks uh, if they can identify this place. I've asked uh, commercial uh, realtors in Fort Worth, can you tell me where this place is? And, and immediately, a dozen hands go up. Everybody says, I know exactly where that is. That's Belknap Street. No, no, that's East Lancaster Street. No, that's East Rosedale. And they argue about it. And then I tell them, I tell them this is not a place. This is a fabricated image. Uh, it's, 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 it's produced by a graphic designer from California. And it's applicable to any city in the United States. You recognize this place because you've been there many times. <laughs> And yet, it's, it's not a place at all. In fact, it's, it's a perfect example of what some people call placelessness. There's nothing there. And yet, this is what our cities look and like. So we want to take this image of the commercial strip and make appropriate changes in respect to design and marketing to turn it into this image, uh, which obviously emphasizes uh, a, a mix of uses, greater density, uh, and more emphasis on, on other modes of transportation besides the automobile. We can still accommodate cars, but we've got many pedestrians, uh, cyclists, access by public transportation. Uh, these are three elements, mixed use, density, uh, and, and, and transit, that often cut against the grain of our thinking uh, in American culture. Uh, they require planners, uh, among others, to educate our decision makers uh, and to change the way uh, they have a proclivity to think about these things. Mixing residential and commercial uses is not a bad thing. It's not a dangerous thing. Density is not a bad thing. It, 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 it does not equate uh, with uh, criminal activity, not if you design uh, density appropriately. And, and public transportation can be a, a legitimate choice for us to make. Uh, not a last resort for folks who, who simply can't afford to drive their own cars. So if you combine those three elements in a place uh, like this, uh, you can be uh, successful. And so we set about a public process involving many community leaders to designate a, a total of 16 urban villages uh, depicted conceptually uh, on this diagram in different parts of Fort Worth Central City. Uh, we only wanted to, to go where the community uh, would support mixed-use development. We adopted a three-part strategy to, uh, to develop these urban villages. Uh, and, uh, and the three parts of capital improvements, economic incentives, and, and mixed-use zoning. Uh, all three important uh, to creating a level playing field so that 
redeveloping property in the central city would be uh, just as appealing uh, to a developer or an investor as would be a project in the greenfield on the, on the perimeter uh, of the city. We found that our own worst enemy uh, in respect to revitalizing our commercial districts was ourselves in our zoning regulations. More often than not, zoning served as an impediment to desirable development rather than a facilitator of desirable development. And so we had to revamp our zoning ordinance and get away from zoning restrictions that prevented us from mixing uses. Get away from restrictions that required excessive amounts of off-street parking and require that parking to be located in the front yard, separating buildings from the street. That made no sense. Economically, socially, uh, from an environmental standpoint, it made no sense. And yet that's what our zoning regulations required. They prohibited the kinds of densities that would make these districts economically uh, feasible. So we created new zoning categories. We called them ME1 and ME2. ME1, lower density, neighborhood oriented commercial districts, mixed use districts. ME2, higher density, typically for, for obsolete industrial districts that were suitable for large scale redevelopment. So depending on the scale of development, we either rezone the property to ME1 or to ME2 within these designated urban villages. And so we've designated uh, mixed-use zoning districts uh, uh, throughout the Central City of Fort Worth, uh, generally speaking, in and around the designated urban villages. And the results, uh, I think we can begin to, to measure them, uh, even though the urban village program is still relatively young. Uh, investment uh, over a billion dollars in the 16 villages, uh, most prominently on West 7th and Magnolia. I've um, shown you some images of those districts. I'll show you some more. That's had an effect on property values. Uh, big increases on the whole, about a 36% increase in property values in the 16 designated urban villages. This is a, a former uh, uh, retail building uh, built way back in the 30s that had become obsolete. Magnificent building, but nobody could figure out a way to reuse it. It was actually a candidate uh, for demolition, which would have been an extraordinary loss uh, for Fort Worth. And, uh, and just in time, we were able to save the building. Uh, the, the, the key was to build this archway uh, that provided uh, pedestrian access through the building. Uh, and, uh, uh, and we now have retail uses uh, at the street level. And, and as a whole, the, the project has, has really helped people to understand how mixed-use development uh, can succeed uh, in, uh, in the central city. Uh, another big success has been a project called simply West 7th. And uh, th this developer worked very closely with us. Uh, uh, they asked us what we were looking for. We told them, the, we, they said that's exactly what we want to do. Uh, they've got uh, lively uh, uh, retail spaces, uh, uh, many restaurants. Uh, it's become a, a very popular destination for, for young adults. Uh, but older folks go there as well. Uh, the housing has been very successful. Uh, rental uh, rates are uh, approximately 96 to 98 percent, which is virtually full occupancy. Uh, it's been very popular uh, and, uh, and, and a big success. Uh, this is a view of the street itself. Uh, it's important to, to design our streets uh, for people, uh, consistent with the very theme of this uh, lecture series. Uh, and that requires working closely with our traffic engineers, who tend to design our streets naturally for cars. And so we took a, a, uh, a wide street uh, that had four lanes and converted it uh, basically into two lanes with a center uh, turn lane, uh, adding uh, space for bicycles uh, and for pedestrians and, and on-street parking. It's been a big success. Traffic flows freely, uh, and yet we're able to attract a lot more people uh, for, uh, for many other purposes. In fact, uh, every now and then we actually close the streets uh, so that people come just to interact uh, by, by walking along the street. It's, it's, it, it's an event in itself, just to close the street and, and bring people together. And this is the kind of scene that, that we want to create, uh, where, where people are, are, are walking uh, freely uh, from place to place. Sometimes they'll go there just to be there. They're not necessarily uh, interested in, in one destination or another. They, they don't make up their minds where they're going to go to have dinner until they get there. That's the kind of place you want to create, a, a place that's a magnet in its own right. Uh, we can spend time studying 
these issues and finding more and more reasons why these distressed districts aren't working, I think that time can be better spent actually moving forward uh, on actions to, uh, to redevelop those districts into vital uh, mixed-use uh, urban villages. Well, that's our, our story uh, from Fort Worth. I don't know how much time we have, but...